I'm interested too in, in um, like your relationship to research. It sounds like you're very, again, I feel like in reading the poems, they feel very lived in, um, but, but it sounds like you do a fair amount of getting into the spaces and the mm -hmm. history and the environment. Like, what's your talk about that? Even? Well, sometimes I think you just have to follow the voices and mm -hmm. the imagery that come through and then do the research and mm -hmm. not get so caught up in, you know, as everyone discovers, you can research and research and research and never get <laughs> no down to the thing. actual <laughs> writing, <laughs> the terror of the blank page, right? So that's what I tend to do. I'll get some ideas and I'll think, well, is that authentic or mm -hmm. is that, do I have the right time period? I mean, I did a lot of initial guessing for my novel about, you know, what songs were fitting right. in what periods, and I discovered I was, I'd say, 90 to 95% right. But of course, you have to do that kind mm -hmm. of fact checking in a novel. You don't necessarily have to do that so much in poetry. Mm -hmm. But, uh, you know, research can be fun, and then it can just feel like you're post quoting. You you're post quoting. <laughs> like, oh, yeah, let's do some more research. Like, well, what about just sitting down and. In, in writing, so it's it's, a, it's yeah. The, the <laughs> writing doesn't the research doesn't tempt the writing right away. Well, the I think the most valuable research is more like physical. Mm -hmm. Like when I was writing in crossed out swastika, there's certain things you can't fully understand until you're in those places where the camps were. Mm -hmm. Like I went to Dachau, yeah. and it's so beautiful in the fields out there. And you go out there and you think it's unimag unimaginable that the camp was there, and that of course that was the point. Right. 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 Or you go to Munich and it's so beautiful and you're thinking, this is the place where, where Hitler wrote Mein Kampf. It's like, no, it can't be. <laughs> no. I remember even when I was a student in Florence learning Italian and I went to the synagogue uh, in Florence, which I think is one of the biggest ones in that part of the world. And I was told that the, uh, that the Nazis had parked their tanks and they'd used the synagogue as a garage. Wow. And again, because Florence is so beautiful, you just can't imagine them even on the scene. Right. Right. And how you just learn things about how that was perpetrated by being physically there, being in situ, that you can't just do with regular research. Right. You have to actually like experience certain, you know, experience is, is very valuable research, or going to the place, or making the pilgrimage, right? Mm -hmm. Or going to Auschwitz when Auschwitz proper looks very institutional. Mm -hmm. And what we think of as, as Auschwitz is, is like the windy mm -hmm. field that was Birkenau where the trains would come right. in. But Auschwitz proper looks like, it looks like it could even be like, almost like a campus or a hospital grounds. Mm -hmm. And it's sort of tiny. Um, you know, the famous sign there, you walk, it's everything is sort of small and institutional looking. So you have physical presence, pilgrimage, yeah. pilgrimage I'd say, pilgrimage is important. Going to